a time and a place for everything We need a place to enjoy our time The small Paris, Bucharest, the capital of Romania, is a town like no other. Contrastant buildings, new and old, modern bridges, luxury hotels, nightclubs, large parks, agreement places, water parks, museums, theaters and concert halls with tons of things to see and do. A journey to Bucharest usually starts from its zero point, the Palace of Parliament. second biggest building in the world. This is a really huge building measuring 245 meters wide, 270 meters long, 86 meters high with another 92 meters underground. Just as a curiosity, one million cubic meters of marble were used for this building.
Nearby, you can find the Unaria Shopping Center, the most central-placed store where you can shop for prestigious brands from around the world. Only a few streets away starts the Old Town part of the city, the most exciting place to visit. These streets carry Bucharest's history. You can rest your feet, choosing from lots of local terraces and pubs for refreshment. Here you will find manufactured art objects ranging from small souvenirs to paintings and sculptures. Street shows and theaters are no stranger to these areas too. This is one of the single pedestrian zones in Bucharest. Just across the street you'll find the National History Museum of Romania and the CEC building, the oldest bank in Romania, finished in 1900. Built in an eclectic style and finished with a glass and metal dome. Now going through the Macaw Villacross Passage where you can find antiques and terraces, you'll be back in the old part of the city, close to the National Bank of Romania. For miles around, you'll see signs of Bucharest's long, rich history. Like the old Romanian house, where infamous Count Dracula's statue can be found.
From here, it's time to travel to the National Theater and University Plaza. Lots of beautiful sculptures are just waiting there for you to visit them. Also, a wide variety of antiques can be found in the street shops. Then there's the underground, the metro station, where you often find pictures and art exhibitions. The National Theater is undergoing a modernization this year and will sport a new look very soon. In the area, you can also see the Odeon Theater, well-known Capsa Hotel and Confectionery, and the National Military House. You can now choose to travel with the Bucharest City Bus Tour or you can travel by foot to the next objectives. The Romanian Athenaeum is a concert hall in the center of Bucharest and a landmark of the Romanian capital city. The building was designed by the French architect Albert Guilleron and inaugurated in 1888. The Romanian National Art Museum, built in 1837, belonged to a ruler. Only in 1949 did the museum receive actual designation. Here, you can visit alone or in a group. The museum can also provide a guide if you make the request.
Around these two monumental buildings, the Athenaeum and the Art Museum, you will also find the Carroll University Foundation and some newer monuments. Going north, you'll find Victory Plaza. This is the area where three major museums can be found, Antipa, the Geology Museum, and the Romanian Villagers Museum. Besides a lot of museums, Bucharest has a well-known one, the Village Museum. A travel back in time to the forgotten centuries where you can see villagers' houses from all parts of Romania. You can also admire the craftsmanship of the ancestors in their wood technique, building almost anything from it. The Village Museum was opened in 1936, being only the third open-air museum in Europe at the time. Today, the museum hosts 121 distinctive complexes from all Romanian rural regions, including 338 monuments. The Village Museum has its own souvenir shops where you can find lots of manufactured objects. Very close to this, you will find the Triumph Arch, built in 1922, symbolizing Romanian victory in World War I.
You can also go on top of the arch in order to take in a view of Bucharest from above. From here, you can see the Village Museum, the Harristrau Park, very large green areas, or new buildings like the Romanian Olympic Committee Center. Going back near the old city area, you will find the National Bibliotheque, which holds around 9 million bibliographic units in a newly built center. Large parks are available for relaxation. The Romanian National Opera was built in 1953. George Enescu's statue can be found in front of the opera building. George Enescu was one of Romania's greatest musicians. In fact, Bucharest has a strong culture where you can find numerous theaters to relax and enjoy talented actors performing their craft. There are also numerous live concert venues. This short journey was merely a glimpse into the heart of Bucharest. Be sure to see all that Romania has to offer and you'll discover many interesting points which will make your travel a pleasant one with memories that will beckon you to return again and again.